So guys, you give me back my boat when you're done with oh, the, no, with the shoot. And, no. okay, I thought, it's, I, on I, I'm loan, it's on loan, but I want For it back. Sure. Sure. Um, you know, one of the things I most love about this story is this idea that when you date someone, you can be with them for a while and you're still progressively learning things about them, case in point, that they might be uber rich. Yep. If someone were gonna date you guys, what is the most interesting thing they'd find out about you, maybe a little bit down the line? Me? Well, we're both married now, so <laughs> it's kind of the romance. Okay, then, 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 then what did they find out about you down the line? The, I, I tap dance when I was a little kid for 10 years. So you don't lead with that? I don't lead with that. Why I don't not? tell a lot of people that. Because uh, I'm behind the camera now. It's much more comfortable back here. I think I messed up a routine once, and I was like, I'm never being in front of people like that ever again. So I hate to tell you, dude, everyone now knows. Uh, it's oh on gosh. camera. Oh it's God. being broadcast. What about you? What's I, I your secret? Uh, I used to be a hairstylist, so my, my approach was like, I would be like, oh my God, your, your hair is just so luscious and so full. <laughs> and that would be my kind of like conversation I'm, not, I'm nervous about my hair now. <laughs> no, you got, you got I feel perfect. Wow. Now, if you could combine that act and style hair while ta tap <laughs> while dancing, ta ta then you've got something you can take on the road. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was talking how uh, a lot of people have been reaching out to me uh, about this movie and asking me questions about it. And a lot of people in the Asian community specifically because they say that we now feel like we are represented in a movie that's coming out. We feel like this movie is for us. Growing up, did you have an actor or a movie that you felt like sort of best represented you? I always loved Rufio from, uh, from Hook. Yeah, it was one Rufy. of the only, it was oh. one of the only. But that was the problem, there wasn't a lot. There was very, very few uh, heroes that I could look up to that were uh, s strong, handsome, like aspired to be. Uh, of course, there was the Bruce Lees and the Jackie mm -hmm. Chans of the world, but those were very specific. It was very uh, Chinese, mm -hmm. very not Asian American. And yeah. I think that's a very different category. I'm not sure a lot of people, uh, unless you're Asian American, really realize. For yeah. sure. For myself, I, I grew up in Asia. So in Malaysia, we had this um, black and white uh, movie star back in those days was called P. Ram Lee and yeah. he sang, he danced, he, he directed, he That's acted. Cool. Um, so I grew up with that but again when I moved over to the UK as, a, as a, sort of a, a, an eight, nine year old I realized that that disappeared. That was, I've, there was a, there's this hole of representation for myself and I, and I kind of clocked it early. Right. Well, you know, it's interesting. One of the, I, the one of the reasons I appreciate this movie is because I loved it. I liked it, but obviously I'm not Asian American. So, but I understand the significance for people that are, and then, like you said, there's not a lot of representation out there. So I think it's important for a lot of people. Yeah, we really wanted to have that uh, universality through specificity. Yeah. Like everyone has a crazy family. Yes. Everyone has an insane. Oh, this is super mother. relatable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. Exactly. You know, talking about being super relatable, one of the things I'm most related to. So uh, I love my mother, but my mother is uh, in the most loving way possible, like my biggest critic. <laughs> of, of everything I do, she'll be the first person to get on the phone and go, yeah, I didn't like that suit you wore today. I mean, but she just says in the most love, have your pair, has your mother seen the movie yet? Has she criticized it? What are her thoughts? <laughs> well, there's lines from, that she said to me, like when, when the, Eleanor, uh, played by Michelle Yeoh, comes up to Nick in the movie. He, she says like, "Oh, you, you look, you, you, your hair looks. You need a haircut." And yeah. My mom says that all the time. Mm -hmm. One, I'm too fat, and one, I need a haircut. So, <laughs> but I really know. So what she it, leads with your too fat. She leads with too fat. <laughs> yeah. Then you do hair. But then she feeds me. She's like, "You have to eat. Why aren't you eating?" Yeah. And I'm like, "Cause you just call me fat." But that's not what she's really just saying. I love you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know. In, in a special myself. way that moms do, right? Yeah, for, for my mother, I mean, she was she was super super chill about most things, but it was when you got on her bad side. That's when the her real Asianness sort of came out, <laughs> and she would get chili peppers or like chilies and put them on our lips if, if we were like saying swear words. Right? Yeah. You know, usually you'd have soap or yeah. whatever. We had chilies. Oh, it was oh. painful. My mom, I used to bite my nails when I was a kid. She used to put chili peppers on my nails so go. that I universal. would bite them. It's a, yeah, it's a universal thing. Uh, really quick, obviously, uh, you know, the, the, the ultra richness of this movie is insane. Whenever I walked out, my first thought was like, God, I wish I were rich. Like the, all the, <laughs> the level of richness is insane. When you're done shooting this movie, does it sort of suck to go back to real life? Like, oh, like I, I miss our suites and our, and, our, and, our, and our first class plane tickets. <laughs> what are you talking about? We were just on a yacht going through Chicago. We're, have, we're living the dream right now. And I think it's, um, but it was, you know, Singapore is one of those places where all of that is, is very available and kind of in your face and like just the architecture there. Uh, there's a lot of money in Singapore, but mm -hmm. this story kind of brings it to another level. It's elevated um, characters, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're not necessarily the characters that you would find in Singapore, uh, but they're stories and tales that Kevin had, had grown up sort of listening to and experiencing himself. Yeah. I always say it's like a Star Wars world where every place you go is a new universe with two different cultures and different people. Uh, so everywhere in Singapore, new money, old money, yeah. wherever you may be going has all these different things. What a great comparison. I feel like you just needed like a do 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 We have a little bit of that, yeah. Guys, a pleasure. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. All right, when you're done with my boat, just let me know and I'll come grab it. Good to see you.